Pandya from the Mumbai Indians to address this press conference. Hardik, a rare defeat for this team this year. Did the strategy go wrong or the execution? Mm, no, you, sometimes you have to give credit to the opposition as well. Uh, I feel that uh, they really batted well. Uh, it was not which our bowler, I mean, bowlers didn't have much to do. Uh, it was their skills and uh, their execution which worked for them. I think a word on your innings, you gave the required boost towards the end, how you enjoyed your innings and did you also feel that the score was about par? Um, obviously, hitting success is fun, uh, which I enjoyed. And I, I thought we got enough runs. Uh, we were looking to initially, I mean, initially we were looking when I batted, when the se second uh, strategic timeout happened, we were looking more at 165 to 170 and obviously we got 25 runs more, which I thought was enough. But uh, credit goes to Strokes and um, Sanju, they really batted well. And what was the plan against Ben Strokes and where do you think it went wrong? To be honest, I don't know what was the plan exactly. I was uh, I was not attending bowlers meeting, so uh, I think something. Yeah, I mean it ha it happens sometimes. You you need to give credit to the other 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 opposition, and I think they were better today in batting. From your perspective, watching uh, Stokes and Samson the way they batted, what do you think they did right to counter your team uh, on the field? I think they took their chances and um, I think even luck was there in their side. A couple of multiple, actually multiple inside edges and outside edges went for boundary in their luck. And having said that, they still played some outstanding shots, which I don't think our bowlers had much options to do. And finally, now your team is playing against the top sides of this season in the next couple of games. What are the takeaways from this match which will be useful going forward and to see that growth in the playoffs top two? Uh, I feel from this this game we should just rectify our mistakes and what are the things which we didn't do and focus on more positives. Uh, and having said that, we are still at, I think, sitting at number one. We just need to play a couple of good games and I think we should be focusing on getting the top two portion and yeah, just just keep keep focusing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We have Rajasthan Royals skipper Steven Smith to address this press conference. Uh, excellent win tonight. Talk us through the discussion at the midway stage. What did you make of the target? Uh, no, I thought it was a, it was a good wicket. Um, the, the ball was coming on quite nice. Um, so I thought, you know, it was very chaseable. Um, we were a bit disappointed um, with with the end to the bowling. Um, you know, we, we dropped another catch. Um, our fielding hasn't been probably as good as we'd like, but um, that drop catch was probably a, a 45 run swing in the end. Um, you know, I thought our bowlers did a really good job through the middle. Uh, we're taking wickets and and then obviously the end after that drop catch, Hardik just went berserk and um, it seemed like every ball was going over the rope. Um, so it was an ideal finish um, and momentum into our innings, but um, I thought we started off with good intent. Um, he was magnificent from the outset tonight. Um, you know, he took the took the game on and played really good cricket shots and, and hit the ball hard into gaps and um, yeah, really really started off nicely for us. Chasing down a target with ten balls to spare against a team that is known for their bowling hostility, how good is this in order to get back to winning plays and in terms of morale as well? Yeah, uh, nice to be back in the, the winner's circle, that's for sure. Um, and I thought our performance tonight was was, was outstanding. Um, you know, there was probably only small parts of the game, um, you know, where we let them get away from us at the back. But um, that can happen in T20 cricket. Um, those things in the, the previous games have probably cost us. Um, we've been on the, the wrong side of them um, and, and not been able to come back from them. But I thought tonight our batting was, was sensational. Um, you know, Sanju and, and Stokesy, that partnership was magnificent. Um, that's what we've been crying out for from, from our experienced players. Um, we haven't been able to put it together, um, you know, two of us in a game. You know, one of us might come off or none of us have come off or, or anything. But when you get two players doing it and getting a partnership together like that, um, we know we've, we've got a, a good side and um, those guys did it tonight and hopefully can get some confidence um, from that and, and keep moving forward. So, Ben Stokes is excellent innings. How is his preparation and training? And what did he do differently when compared to the previous games? 
Um, oh, Stokes he always prepares really well. Um, you know, he's a million miles an hour in everything he does, and um, you know, he was he was suffering in a couple of games with a, a bit of a sore back, which um, you know, it's never good in, in T20 cricket when you're trying to hit the ball hard. But you know, I just thought his intent today from from ball one was magnificent. Um, you know, he came out and played some some really nice cricket shots, took the game on, and um, you know, got himself going. And um, once he was going, he was um, he was just just playing good cricket shots and, and hard to stop and it was a it was a magnificent innings for us. Well I think when you're chasing 195 um, you know you, you can't really afford to have too many overs where you don't score too many runs so you have to keep that intent um, even against bowlers like like Boomer, who's um, who, who we know how um, you know how good he is you still have to score off him so um, we were able to, to just play with such um, you know freedom and and just take the game on and I thought Stokesy and, and, and Sanji did that beautifully tonight um, you know I went out there at the uh, the timeout and um, I think we needed 12 and over at one point and then they brought it down to around 10 or just under um, and they said they ha they felt like they hadn't even taken a risk. Um, they were just playing really good, good, lovely cricket shots, and um, you know I'm really pleased with the way they they were able to close the game out. Again, Jofra Archer has been excellent for you, but how difficult is it when the paces around him aren't going for a few runs? Yeah, look, it's it's been challenging. Um, you know, Joffre has been magnificent for us in almost every game. Um, he's bowling beautifully. Um, yeah, we just need a bit more consistency, I guess, from from the other guys around, um, trying to help him out. Uh, I think our spinners have done a really good job through through the middle. Um, Tiagi's um, been been very good for us as well. I think he's he's a good find, and the other guys around just need to yeah keep coming with good plans and and backing their execution. Um, tonight was obviously a tough night at the end. The way Hardik was um, was playing those shots, but um, I mean, we know if you, you're slightly off with your execution um, on a wicket like this, um, with with a player like that, um, you, you're going to go the distance. And unfortunately, our execution wasn't as good as it could be at the the back end. But um, you know, still really fortunate that we're able to get that win and keep ourselves um, somewhat in the hunt. Skipper, thank you so much. Pleasure.